In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you, no plague shall come near your tent. Though we are surrounded with a great fear by the rapidly evolving situation, we need to do our part of prayer and fasting. We can be rest assured that we have a Father in Heaven who is with us always. We walk the way of the cross each year with our Lord Jesus and yet with every step we are taught something new about us and about God. We have suddenly realized the value of all that we took, to, took for granted and never appreciated, including the joy of seeing one another when we come to worship as one family. We are now spread far and wide, yet as faithful warriors of Christ, we walk together in spirit, we pray together in spirit. As we reflect, on the Stations of the Cross, let us implore God's mercy on us to halt the spread of the coronavirus and heal those who are suffering and to make us stronger in mind, body and faith. The First Station Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As Pilate shows the law can be used as a weapon against the weak, Jesus stands with those unjustly deprived of their liberty, land and future. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus, the global pandemic that is upon us makes us feel us though the world has been condemned. Give us the courage to not be afraid or be discouraged and to stand firm in our faith and face this epidemic bravely. We pray for all nations and people that, they have, that have been affected by this invisible enemy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. At the cross her station keeping, stood the mournful mother weeping. Close to Jesus to the last. The second station, Jesus is laden with, with the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The weight of our cross is only lightened by responding to Christ's invitation to come to him. May our own way of the cross lead us to Him. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus, today as we battle this pandemic, we can feel the weight of your cross that you carried on your sacred shoulders. Just as you took responsibility for our sins, give us the grace to take up this cross and take responsibility at a personal level, at what has manifested at a collective level. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Through her heart his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing, 
Now at length the sword has passed. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Each fall of Jesus is a sign of human frailty, but also a foretaste of his resurrection when we will break the chains of death to bring us salvation. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus, today as we contemplate on your first fall, let us ponder over the failure of people to report and contain this virus that has spread globally. We pray for those who are already infected with this virus that they may receive prompt, effective and compassionate medical care that will restore them to health. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Oh, how sad and so distressed Was that mother highly blessed Of the soul begotten one The fourth station, Jesus meets his holy mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As Jesus proceeds on his way, he meets his mother. What a meeting that must have been! What must have been the compassion of that son for his holy mother? Let us pray. O Lord Jesus, we pray for all those who face travel restrictions and cannot come home to their countries and families. We pray for those under quarantine that they might be comforted by your presence and protected from disease, anxiety and fear. Just as you were close to your son, be close to us, especially those quarantined. O oh, Blessed Mother, in our need, be the help of the hopeless. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious Son. The fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Although it seems that Simon is just plucked from the crowd, it is the Father who is sending help to his Son. Those who help others are doing God's work, and we too are called to play our part. Let us pray. O oh Lord Jesus, just as Simon helped you to carry your cross, we pray for protection and grace for all medical professionals all over the world who are courageously treating those infected with coronavirus. May they be shielded, strengthened, and guided as they ad administer healing treatments and care. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, all without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Is there one who would not weep, whelmed in misery so deep? Christ, dear Mother, to behold. The Sixth Station Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Veronica sees through the pain and torture to recognize and love the true face of the Savior. She is rewarded with the icon of his suffering impressed upon the cloth of her charity. Let us pray. O Lord, help us to care for each other, just as Veronica showed compassion to you. Help us to have compassion and act responsibly for each other in the wake of these testing times. We pray your protection over those most vulnerable to this virus, our babies, children, elders, poor, disabled, and those weakened by other health conditions. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain? In that mother's pain untold. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. His strength fails him and Jesus falls the second time. Sometimes it is difficult for us to carry on and complete things. We often want to give up and end up f falling again and again. Let us pray. O Lord God Almighty, we pray that through our failings you may draw us closer to you, grow our compassion and increase our knowledge. In this hour of unusual crisis, we come to you ask for unusual strength to stand up, defeat this invisible enemy and rise again as one united world. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Bruce did I dead curse defiled, she beheld her tender child. All with blood discourages rent. The eighth station, Jesus consoles the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. For the women of Jerusalem, the meeting with Jesus is a tearful moment. But amidst the tears of the present, we are called to look forward to the hope of the resurrection. Let us pray. God of mercy, be with the tens of thousands of people who have contracted this virus around the world. Dear Jesus, just as you comforted the women of Jerusalem, 
comfort and console those whose loved ones have died for it is written even when the doors of heaven are closed to prayers you are open to tears may our tears reach you o lord glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen how mercy on us o lord how mercy on us for the sins of his own nation saw him hang in desolation till his spirit forth he sent the ninth station jesus falls the third time we adore you o christ and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world Jesus has had enough he is almost at the place where they are going to crucify him yet he can't get there without falling again let us pray we ask you lord jesus to remain with us each time we repeatedly fall under the burden of our trials we pray for those searching for treatments cures and vaccines may you guide them reveal new ideas and accelerate their discoveries to fight this disease despite repeated failures glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us o sweet father of font of love touch my spirit from above make my heart with your sacred the tenth station jesus is stripped of his garments we adore you o christ and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world all that jesus has is taken from him even the clothes he is wearing when we work to restore the rights of the vulnerable we hope to inherit the kingdom of god let us pray o lord jesus we pray for those who are stripped of their rights and dignity we repent for our shameful deeds we are sorry for what has come upon us we pray for all those whose lives are disrupted by this epidemic we pray for families who have been separated and for those whose livelihoods have been jeopardized glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen make me feel as you have felt make my soul to glow and melt with the love of christ my lord the eleventh station jesus is nailed on the cross we adore you o christ and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world jesus was in terrible and pure agony when those nails were pierced in his hands imagine the combined love of god and jesus for us sinners god's love to crucify his son 
and the sun's love to die for us no one understands pain better than god and jesus let us pray o oh lord jesus today we feel as though this virus has nailed the whole world life has come to a grinding halt we pray for the communities areas and countries hardest hit restore their sense of well-being and community sustain them comfort them and give them hope glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be all without end amen Holy Mother pierce me through in my heart each wound renew of my savior crucified the 12th station Jesus dies on the cross we adore you o Christ and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world the dying of jesus rewrites the story of death when confronted with our own death god is there in the valley of darkness he is our light let us pray o lord jesus Today we pray for all those who are currently battling between life and death. We pray for the thousands of souls who have lost their lives. We pray for the researchers who are tracking the course of this virus that they make uncover pattern that will help us save precious innocent lives across the world. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Let me share with you his pain who for all our sins was slain who for me in torments died the 13th station jesus is taken down from the cross we adore you o christ and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world jesus body was taken off the cross and placed in the arms of mother mary his mother Imagine how she must have felt Lord we remember all those who have carried the cross in this life and now rest in your peace Let us pray We look to you O God praying that the spread of this virus will be halted and that many lives might be spared we pray that through this crisis you may draw us closer to you grow our compassion increase our knowledge hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen How mercy on us O Lord how mercy on us Let me mingle tears with thee Morning him who mourn for me All the days that I may live the 14th station jesus is laid in the tomb we adore you o christ and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world 
what looks like an ending is in fact a beginning the death of jesus brings a new life for us the virus has not come to end life it has come to make us reflect on the way we have lived so far and how we have treated nature and other forms of life let us pray o lord god in the face of death we have begun to understand and feel for lesser life forms that cannot defend or protect themselves we are gradually walking up to the reality that the whole earth is one family o lord jesus give us the grace to bury all our differences and to act and think like one big family to make choices for the greater good of humanity glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us by the cross with you to stay there with you to weep and pray this i ask of you to give concluding prayer thank you dear great physician who not only heals us but who is a very present help in our time of need as the bible tells us that you took up all our infirmities and carried our diseases in christ you traveled through towns and villages curing every disease and illness at your command the sick were made well come to our aid now in the midst of a global spread of the corona virus that we may experience your healing love as the world erupts in panic we turn to you in our special needs calm our fears increase our trust whether we are home or abroad surrounded by many people suffering from this illness or only a few jesus christ stay with us as we endure and mourn persist and prepare in place of our anxiety give us your peace our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen <laughs>